All right, so now actually I do want to see if we could have done anything with those clothes though. That just beats off the fire. Let's see if you if we had gone to the castle, could we have done anything with the clothes? Alexander pulls. Alexander feels a strange pulling sensation. Maybe you have to use the clothes before you get captured on the Isle of Mists. Yeah, because one of the things I remember was like changing in the guard booth or something. A group of serving Here women we go. Yeah, yeah. the castle. I did not ah, remember well, the teapot. More serving women. The castle staff is certainly busy today. Hi, Gruff. Gotta move on there, wenches. There's plenty of work left to do before the wedding. Yes, Sergeant Gruff. And that voice did not match any of those <laughs> maidens. Those serving wenches are always late. Uh, yeah, one's about to be even later, hopefully. Taking his cue from the serving women he's seen enter the castle. Yeah, you can use that. Alexander see? decides to try a few alterations to make himself more acceptable to the guards. He ducks into the little hut to put on Beauty's clothes. Beauty. <laughs> Feeling a little foolish, Alexander slips Beauty's old slave clothes on over his own. Imagine if Cosima saw him like this. Imagine. Well. Here we go. Oh wow, they didn't you even there. Girl, you're late. Get a move on before the wazir sees you. Wazir? I thought it's a vizier. Yes. <clears throat> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Why does everyone keep on pronouncing it with a W? Was wazir, not vazir? Yeah, you get points. Wait a minute, so is this, is this the short, quote-unquote, shorter route? The castle yeah. guards lock the main entrance doors behind Alexander. From the open door comes the clatter of pots and pans, yelled instructions, and other busy kitchen noises. Girl, don't just stand there. There's a stack of silver almost to the ceiling that needs polishing for the wedding. Get a move on! I can't afford to get caught up in that mess. I'd never find Cosima. Never. Oh, no, don't take it off. That's a good cover while you're in the castle. What are you doing? Oh, my God. 141. Yeah, actually, I, I do want the answer to that. If this is the shorter route, I think it makes sense. Maybe we can do the shorter route first, then do the longer route. It'd be cool to see both. This is the shorter route. Okay, awesome. Yeah, so why don't we do that? We'll do the shorter one, and then we'll do the longer one. I think I must have done the shorter route then as a kid because I, I one of the things I remembered was changing in that guard booth. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah, so let's do both. All right, 142. Yes. Short castle, since we're taking the shorter route. Alexander is standing in the grand hall of the Castle of the Crown. Brilliantly colored marble gleams from every surface and the floor is inlaid with geometric patterns. The ceiling spans upward to a two-story height. Staircases on either side of the room lead upstairs, and two massive doors to the north lead to the throne room. The throne room. Yeah, so the really interesting thing about this is if I hadn't done the short route as a kid, I would have been like, oh, okay, so the clothes were just to beat off the flames, and all right, we used them. And I, we would have just done the longer route, and I wouldn't have known anything else the wiser, but... Because uh, the natural instinct was, okay, I now know we have the Make It Rain spell. We have to use that with the Druids. But now, um, yeah, and I guess in that route, you wouldn't use any of the spells at all. You would just, um, with the short route, you don't use any of the spells, I guess. Interesting. Okay. Does this open up doing the paths of other games? What, you mean like King's Quest Seven? A massive chandelier lights the large room. Large urns stand formally near the staircases. Alexander 
stick. A little balcony overlooks the Grand Hall. Alexander can almost picture Cosima and her parents standing there, waving to a crowd of citizens below. There's a door on the east wall under the stairs. On the north wall is a set of large double doors. From his experience with the castle architecture, Alexander guesses that they lead to the throne room. There's a keyhole in one of the double doors. Oh, we're gonna need a key. There's a door on the west wall under the stairs. It's the door the waiter came through and probably leads to the kitchen. Oh, the Two sweeping staircases, one on either side of the Grand Hall, lead up to a second level of the castle. We're great, the clothes back? Alexander doesn't need to get Beauty's clothes uh -oh. back. He doesn't want to be dressed as a woman when he finds Cosima. <laughs> yes, yes he does. Yes he does. Alexander doesn't need to do anything with the heavy urn. Alright, so I'm guessing we might be able to get a few deaths here. Let's go in the kitchen. Alexander decides to check out the door the waiter came through. Let's check it out. No lunch is being served today. We're busy catering the wedding. Really? Okay. Apparently, the kitchen is no place to be today. Apparently. All right, throne room? Oh, that's locked. All right. Oh, no, it's not. Uh-oh. Alexander's walked right into a couple of guard dogs. Look, an early guest. Are you on the bride or the groom's side? Both. That's the foreigner the wazir warned us about. Grab him! Oh, dungeon. You'll stay in here until we find out what the wazir wants to do with you. The guard dogs leave Alexander to his fate, locking the door noisily behind them. The sound of running footsteps echoes outside Alexander's cell. What are you doing down here, Shrew? We've True. already got him locked up. Go back to your post upstairs. Uh, uh, the wazir wanted to know what all the commotion was about. And I told him about the intruder. He told me to post extra guards on this one. Extra guards, huh? So be it. So be it. Just as Alexander realizes that he has no possible means of escape, oh, it is a death. he hears the sound of wedding music playing somewhere in the castle. Confound this dungeon! We'll never be able to stop the wedding now. It is a noble thing to have a means of escape, and is a far, far better thing to never get caught at all. Alright, I'm glad we saw that death. So what if we go into this door here? Alright. The Lock. door is locked. Wait, was this the one he mentioned there was the keyhole? There's a door on the no. on the north wall is a set of law. There's a keyhole in one of the double doors. Hmm, okay, so that seems like it could be something. Alright, so let's just make a note here with the short group. So keyhole in three doors, alright. I guess let's go upstairs then if that one's locked. Right, Alexander door. cannot reach the balcony from here. Alright, so walk upstairs. Oh. Whoa! Alexander runs right into a guard dog patrol. Whoa! 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 Alexander is standing in an upstairs hallway of the castle. Doors on the east wall probably lead to bedrooms or storage rooms, and there's an exit to another corridor at the end of the hall. Two guard dogs patrol the hall. So, this is when we were told to we were going to have to hide in seeking corridors. Large glazed urns stand like sentinels in the hallway. The floor is constructed from the same cool beige marble that adorns the walls. A red carpet runner brings color to the hallway and protects the ivory floor. Two powerfully built guard dogs patrol the upstairs hallway. The guard dogs patrol in a diverging pattern to ensure constant visual coverage of all parts of the hallway. So we're gonna have to use like the vases as or urns as like cover. There are two thick wooden doors on the east wall. Alexander is standing. The ceiling features a vaulted dome that provides filtered sunlight to the upstairs hallway. The stairway ends here at the entrance to the upstairs hallway. Uh, are there any doors here? Alexander is standing. No. All right, let's see if we can get caught to get another death. Is it probably the same? Wait, look at this. That's a, well, at least different conversation Hi. leading to the... Uh, nice castle. Cheeky, isn't he? Grab him, Jowl. 
<laughs> I bet this is the foreigner we were told to look out for. Diabolos. Great name. Well, let's lock him up and go tell Saladin. He'll tell us what kind of fish we've caught. Right, Jowls. You'll okay. stay in here until we find out what the Wazir wants to do with you. The guard dogs leave Alexander. The sound of run. So, Russ, I'm guessing. What are you doing uh, down? Yeah. Extra guard. Okay, yeah, same thing. Just as Alexander okay, cool. re Confound found this dungeon. Alright, so now we're gonna try to. Oh, it's a different side. Mmm. Okay. By Cerebus Collar, I'll be glad when this wedding is over. Bay, I'm getting mighty tired of this patrol. It's wearied me to the bones. I couldn't agree with you more, Wolf. Who'd have thought we'd ever have to listen to Princess Kasima crying all day long and be ordered to ignore it yet? Okay, so she's on this side. Something sticks in my craw about the whole thing. The Wazir says that the princess is not herself. Says she's half mad with grief over her parents' death. I can see it. The poor might. But still. It's too. I agree. It seems cruel to lock her up when she's so heartbroken. Let her out in the fresh air, I say. It'll do her a world of good. <laughs> Pilgrim. I well, she insisted on the morning period, and it's up today. Thank the stars. It's too bad we couldn't find that nightingale of hers. The wazir says she's been pining for it. Oh, shit. <laughs> if I had an ounce of luck, I'd have found it weeks ago. <sighs> well, are they talking about the real bird? or cheer up the princess, but the reward the wazir's offered for it would make me pretty happy, too, doggone it. Shit, do we need the... maybe we need oh, the... Oh, well, our luck will definitely be out if the wazir catches a snap in our jaws at our post. Oh, shit. I skipped this thing. Probably okay. I'm wondering if we need the Nightingale instead of the Tinderbox. Shit. Uh... Is there any way we can get back down? Two guard dogs patrol the upstairs hallway. The guards are short but powerfully built, and they're equipped with strong jaws. The two look like natural fighters, but they don't look very bright. I tell you what, Pilgrim. Large glazed urns. Alexander is standing in the upstairs hallway of the castle. Several doors lead off the hallway on the west wall. On the east wall is an alcove set behind a pillar. At the end of the hall is an exit into a north hallway. All right, let's just play it out. Two if, guard dogs are on duty in the hallway. If it turns out we need, um, turns out we need the nightingale, we can always go and get it. We just have to replay this part. But um, let's just not assume that we need it. But that seemed to be a hint that we might need it to attract. We need the fake Nightingale to attract the real one or something. A heavy wooden door leads off the hall. There's a keyhole in the door. Another one. Alexander can barely make out part of a doorway in the north hallway. A heavy wooden. There's a keyhole in the door. Okay, so there are a few things that need keys. Alexander has more urgent things to do than try to move those heavy urns. A marble statue of a guard dog in full regalia adorns the top of a pillar. Full regalia. Okay, let's try to get caught while moving here. Hey, who the? Who the? Um, hello there. Don't just stand there. Grab him, Bay. Okay, this will probably be around the same. Oh, I'll bet it's that saboteur fellow the wizard warned us about. A different I dialogue. Brought him through right here and now. Counts as a different death. No. Woof. The Wazir will run you through if he doesn't get a chance at the prisoner. Let's put him in the dungeon for safekeeping, then we'll go tell the captain. Aye, Wolf, you're right. Let's go. Likely he doesn't even fight back or anything. You'll stay in here until we find out what the Wazir wants to do with you. The guard dog. The sun. <sighs> Extra. Just as Alexander realizes that he can not found this dungeon. Okay. So we want to go to the left side. And then I'm hoping hide behind the alcove. Stuck instrument? I Cerebus. I could something. I I it's too bad. <laughs> not only oh, sorry, 
Oh, okay. The last one was sorry. I'll keep my mouth shut. All right, I'm gonna wait until they start walking back. Alexander hears the guards' footsteps pause for a moment, then start up again. They must have turned at the end of the hallway and be on their way back towards the stairs. Can you? No, don't Alexander go that way. Steps into the main hallway while the guards are headed south on their patrol. I said to hide behind the pillar, man. Hey, move! Ah, uh, don't. Ah, uh, all right. Let's just short circuit this. Okay. Thirty-seven. My Cerebus Collar, I'll be glad when this wedding is over. Hey, I'm getting mighty tired of this patrol. It's wearied me to the bones. I couldn't agree with you more, Wolf. Who'd have thought we'd ever have to listen to Princess Cosima crying all day long and be ordered to ignore it yet? Something sticks in my craw about the whole thing. The Wazir says that the Princess is not herself. Says she's half mad with grief over her parents' death. I can see it, the poor might, but still. I agree, it seems cruel to lock her up when she's so heartbroken. Let her out in the fresh air, I say. It'll do her a world of good. I, well, she insisted on the morning period, and it's up today. Thank the stars. It's too bad we couldn't find that nightingale of hers. The wazir says she's been pining for it. <laughs> If I had an ounce of luck, I'd have found it weeks ago. <sighs> Not only would it cheer up the princess, but the reward the wizirs offered for it would make me pretty happy too, doggone it. Oh well, our luck will definitely be out if the wazir catches a snap in our jaws at our post. Sorry, Wolf. I'll keep my muzzle shut. All right, sorry for the delay, guys. Uh, let me uh, resume the timer. All right, so clearly we got to do this carefully because I try to hide behind the pillar and. Alexander hears the guards' foot. They must. Okay, so let's just do. Uh, should we do a new save here? I guess so. Alexander takes a closer look at the portrait on the wall. Kindly smiles light up the faces of the couple in the painting. The man has an intelligent, sensitive look about him, and the woman is quite lovely. Alexander guesses that the man and woman in the painting are none other than King Caliphim and Queen Ilaria, Cosima's parents. Parents? Can we take the... No, we can only look. Kindly... Alexander... A red marble pillar acts as a partial divider helping to set the alcove off from the main corridor. Touch the pillar. There we go. You're not even hidden. <laughs> Full view. Be over here, man. The guards pass the pillar, and Alexander sighs in relief. Phew, they didn't see him. The problem is we're going to need the keys. The guards turn around at the staircase and head back. Will you give me a chance to go over? No way. Oh, no. Hey, Morgan. Phew, that was a close one. Yes, it was. All right, when are you going to be able to... Are they going to... Alexander hears the guards... 
They must have turned. So when do we have a window to go by them, pass them this way? You know what? Maybe we maybe we don't need to go down the hall. Maybe we just need to go across. All right. So when they pass back, let's go out the and then to the room pass to the left. The pillar and Alexander. The guards turn around. Alright, yeah, let's just... Let's go to the room next door. Alexander decides to make a try for one of the bedroom doors. What? Why'd you go back there to do that? What? Alexander decides... Hey, who the... What? Um, Hello there. What the hell? Don't just stand there. Why'd you go over here me? and then over there? I clicked here. What was that about? Ah. Uh, that's annoying. <clears throat> Alright, look at this. Alexander. What is this Alex thing right here? Alexander is standing in a small curved alcove in the upstairs hallway of the castle. A pillar partially blocks the alcove from the main corridor. Okay, that was part of the guard, all right. I was wondering what that was. <clears throat> the guards pass the pillar. The guard. The guards turn around. <clears throat> All right, let's save again. Why are we at 142 and... Wait a minute. We missed a point somehow. What happened? I don't know what happened to that extra point. We missed. Alexander decides to make a try for one of the bedroom doors. Okay, can we not run around? No, what are you doing? Stop. Get over here. Oh my god, so you can't go that way. So what the point was the alcove then? Alexander. Alexander decides to. Go. Alexander. De oh my god. What the hell? Why isn't he doing that? Maybe I have to do walk and then try it when I'm there. No one has picked Kings West Seven yet. No. Time to play the fool. <clears throat> hey, who the? Ah. Um. Hello there. Don't just stand there. Uh, all right, let's see. Maybe we have to create a distraction or something. It's weird that we go... <laughs> he says he tries to make a run for it, and then he fucking takes a detour down the hall. Goes on for a walk. Who knows what the hell he's doing. Maybe we can use the mirror to like see where they are. Um... Hmm. We, maybe we could pretend that we're dead. I don't know. Alexander looks in the mirror and sees a handsome, somewhat lonely young man. There's no reason to use that on the portrait. The sound of footsteps. The pillar is fine the way it is, and would not benefit from that. Alexander will have to walk out into the main hall if he wants to do something there. Here they come again. And there they go. So maybe we have to like play the long game here? Let's do another save since it could be a thing. Alexander doesn't need to use the mirror on the guard dogs. It is quite clear who they are and what their purpose in the hall. There's no reason. Um, hello there. Don't just stand what there the and grab a So trying to open the door causes him to speak to the guards? What the hell? What is terrible? <laughs> Alright, let's try the other hallway. This is ridiculous. 
They kind of made mention as if she was going to be here, but I don't know. All right, let's let's see if we can do anything on the other side. Wait, are these not connected? Could you not walk across here? Strange. Whoa, Alexander runs right into a guard dog patrol. But they're an alternating thing, so I don't think you can sneak by these guys, right? Because as soon as he turns around, this guy turns around too. Yeah, I don't think you have time for this. I don't think you can do it this side. So maybe we need the Nightingale. Well, if we walk out though, well, this could be a new death. Gate unlocked from the outside. Alexander can't leave that way. Oh, we can't. We're supposed to hide in corridors, but it's not really working out too well. Are we walking dead here? Does anyone know? The sound of footsteps grows louder as the guards in the main hallway turn and head back towards the stairs. All right, I guess we'll do play the long game again. Maybe maybe they're going to do something new. Here they come again. Oh, we are walking dead. Because we don't... And there they go. Yeah, it's the same thing from before. Okay, maybe we need the Nightingale? We might need the Nightingale. Um... Short castle embers. Um, short castle. This was already inside. This is after we already got the thing, so we don't want that. We need this. And then from here. Okay. So let's see if we can get the nine gel. Is that was the thing the guards discussion seemed to hint about it. Would you mind if I... Of course, Prince Ale Alec. That mechanical nightingale looks intriguing. I believe I'll take it. Very good, Prince Alex. Thank you. Group of sir Ah, Wolf! More serving women! The castle staff is certainly busy today! Aye, Gruff! Gotta move on there, wenches! There's plenty of work left to do before the wedding! Yes, Sergeant Gruff. Serving wenches are always late. Taking his cue from the serving women he's seen enter the castle, Alexander decides to try a few alterations to make himself more acceptable to the guards. He ducks into the little hut to put on Beauty's clothes. No, what I understand is um... a little foolish. Alexander slips Beauty's old. Well, here we go. The issue is I should have either come into a locked door or been able to go into the room. But the game shouldn't just refute... Like, yes, I was missing maybe the Nightingale, but... I shouldn't just be caught in the hallway because I tried to open a door and instead I yell out at the guards or go on a fucking tour... Making laps of the hallway? Like, what is that about? <sighs> that shouldn't be the way The Walking Dead renders itself. Terrible. You there. Girl, you're late. Get a move on before the wazir sees you. Yes. Yes. 
the castle from the open door. Here is all this stuff. Girl! All right, so put your junk there. Although, again, if he were wearing the costume, he wouldn't be getting caught and thrown in prison. It's so stupid, like, it's so dumb by the character. That's how you got in the castle, but now, now that you're in the castle, you want to take off your disguise? So dumb. All right, so let's try this again. Yeah, it's like the character stupidity strains credulity. Sorry. Ooh, next waiver. Okay, now he's actually hiding the proper way. Before he was hiding on this side, which made no sense. He was in full view of the guards. The guards pass the pillar, and Alexander saw the guard. Well, if it's old enough, uh, Morgan, it'd be on the list anyway, regardless of the system. The question is whether it's adventure. Just gonna get this in case it's needed. Alexander takes kindly smiles, light up the f Alexander. Okay, so save. The sound of foot. Here they come again. Okay, so I guess if you do it from the right side, he goes there, and the left side, he'll be behind it. Alright, well, let's just pause him while we do the buys. Alright, so for those who are just joining us, we're basically doing... Um, this isn't a, a full blind playthrough, because I played this in the, like, 94, 95, but I only remember bits and pieces. So we're, and now we're far enough along where I really don't remember much of anything. So we're basically trying to play the, sh do the short route now, and then once we do that, we're going to go back and do the long route too. Because we were starting along the long route, but then I remembered, I'm like, well, what? we should have been able to use those clothes. And anyway. All right, so we're in, we're in the castle. We got in the castle. Um, okay, we're waiting for these guards to pass. There they go. Okay, what are we doing now? Oh, we have the Nightingale, right. So we should try playing the Nightingale, maybe? We might die, but that's okay. Let's see. There's no time for that now. There are guard dogs on patrol just on the other side of that pillar. Shisa. Can you do it out here? The sound of the mechanical Nightingale would doubtless bring the guard dogs down on Alexander's head. That might not be a good idea, at least not at the present moment. All right, we got to find another moment. Should we do it over here? And then, oh, we should have left it here. Maybe you leave it there, and then they go to investigate, and then you make the break for it. There's no reason to use the sound of the mechanic. Okay, so we gotta find out. Alexander sees nothing of particular interest about that area of the marble hall. Geared his PCO. Alexander hears that they must have turned. So I wonder if we could place it somewhere here that's an interesting idea but alexander might want to rethink his placement strategy okay so behind the pillar the pillar is fine the way it is the pillar all right, hang on no 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 all right before we die <laughs> go back the sound of footstep okay where can we put this um there's no reason to the pillar is f that's an interesting idea alexander okay so i guess what oh you know what we probably need to do we hide behind the pillar, when, then we can go out in the hallway, put it by the door or something, and then go back and hide in the alcove here behind the pillar. Ugh. The sound of... All right, let's just hide. Here they come again. Man, you should have seen earlier, Elf, but when we tried to go in the door, we put hand on door and then he yells at the guards <laughs> and gets caught. What an idiot. Oh yeah, okay, you were watching. All right, cool. And there they go. All right, so now let's get out there. 
All right, so where can we place it is the question. Maybe behind one of these urns? There's no reason. There's no reason to... Alexander walks into the hallway to use the mechanical nightingale. In the middle of the hallway, okay. Alexander winds the mechanical nightingale and places it strategically on the floor of the upstairs hallway. It, meanwhile, they're freezing uh, <laughs> conveniently. All right, go back. The mechanical song echoes in the corridor. Alexander hears the sound of boots pounding as the guard dogs come to investigate. Alexander ducks behind the pillar. Yay. How many points did we get, by the way? Whoa! That, a bunch of points. Nice. Uh, we were at one, so... Oh, no, we were at two, four, six. Okay. Look at this, Wolf! A metal bird! Sure is, Bay. How do you suppose a metal bird got in here? You got me, but there's something weird about it. Hey, could this be Cosima's nightingale, do you think? What, you lapdog? The princess's nightingale isn't some tin thing. How do you know? Have you seen it? Well, no, but... I don't know, Bay. Humans can be pretty strange. Hmm. With their sense of smell, maybe she wouldn't even know it wasn't real. I say we take it downstairs to Captain Saladin. He'll know what to do with it. Yes, he will. What about our post? Jowls and Mitre are in the other hallway. They can handle it for five minutes. Think about how happy the princess would be to get her nightingale back. And then there's that reward money and my missus. Hey, don't forget the missus. Right, Wolf. Let's go. Your missus. Alexander hears the guard dog's boots clank noisily on the staircase leading down to the grand hall. All right, we don't have a key, though. We still don't have a key. It's definitely saved though. 147. Okay, yeah, this one is. This is like a dead save. Okay, Nightingale. Uh. Uh oh. I hope that this looks like this froze. Oh, good. There it goes. Sweet. Alright, we're just chugging a little bit. Alexander finds the hallway door unlocked and slips inside. I love Christmas story. Okay, she's not in here, but let's take a look around. Alexander is standing in a masculine bedroom. Very masculine. Polished marble walls rise to meet a tall ceiling, and the furnishings have an opulent feeling. He wonders whose bedroom this is. The vizier's, maybe? A square red patterned rug helps protect bare feet from the cold marble floor. A fire in a small hearth warms the bedroom. A large, soft cushion has been strategically placed on the cold marble floor to provide a comfy seat near the fire. A door leads into the hall. There's a keyhole in the door. Yeah, so what's this about all these keyholes? A candlelit chandelier lends a soft light to the bedroom. A storage trunk sits at the foot of the bed. The trunk bears a large brass lock. We need keys. A small wooden table graces the wall near the fireplace. On the table is a box made of ebony. So it is Wazir? I've always heard, I've heard Vizier and Vizier. A wardrobe stands against the west wall of the room. A canopy bed arranged with silk bedclothes and large pillows stands in one corner of the room. Alexander opens the ebony box and looks inside. Wait, space vessel? Inside the Whoa. box is a piece of paper with the word Zebu printed on it. Zebu. Zebu. Okay. Zebu. What else do we have? Some old ivory dice have been left in the box. Ivory dice in an ebony box? A worn old brush is among the box's trinkets. Love those trinkets. Alexander can read the piece of paper without taking it. You could also read the pa piece of paper with taking it. <laughs> the brush is old and small. Alexander isn't interested in taking uh -oh. it. The bottle contains only a small amount of black ink. Most of it dried at the bottom. Alexander decides to leave it there. Okay, so this is just to get the intel about Zebu. The box's owner would probably notice it was missing. Besides, Alexander can't think of a use for a box of trinkets. Use your imagination, Alexander. 
All right, chest. The trunk is locked. Oh. Okay, anything in the wardrobe? The wardrobe is full of black cloaks and a rather sour smell. Sour? Alexander examines the clothes, but finds nothing of interest. Okay, anything in the bed? There doesn't seem to be anything on the bed except for a lot of silk. What about under the bed? There doesn't seem... Okay. The rug is too heavy to lift. Oh, anything in the fire? What? And burn a perfectly good hand? Sure! There's nothing under the cushion but the floor. How disappointing. Alexander can't reach the chandelier. Alexander also didn't try to reach the chandelier. Alexander sees nothing of interest in that part of the bed. It almost looks like there's something in the table itself. There's nothing of interest about that part of the small table. I beg to differ. It looks like there's a hole there. All right, so there's going to be a trunk, perhaps. All right, so... <clears throat> uh, <clears throat> unlock trunk. All right, so hopefully we'll be able to make it to the bedroom number two. Let's see. Yep, okay, cool. Alexander hears the muffled sound of crying coming from the back hallway. <laughs> the door is locked from the inside. There must be somebody in there. Kasima. All right, let's try this door, actually. Alexander will have to enter the north hallway if he wants to do anything with that door. All right, so do it. Probably should save, actually. <laughs> okay. Uh... Zebu. Oh, we got a point for looking at Zebu. Okay, so this could be a death if there are other guards there, but let's see. The crying is louder here. Oh. It seems to be coming from the doorway on the north wall. Oh. So it was from here. Hang on, so what was in that other room? Did we try getting in there? The door is locked oh. from the inside. Okay, so it's locked and someone's on the inside. Got it, sorry. The soft crying sounds are still <laughs> coming from behind the door. A galloping horse adorns the north wall. Alexander is standing in the north upstairs hallway of the Castle of the Crown. On the north wall is a heavily padlocked door. To his left and right, the hallway turns into perpendicular corridors. A marble bench along the wall provides a place for quiet contemplation. On the north wall of the hallway is a thick wooden door. The doorknob and keyhole are literally buried under a heavy padlock. Yeah, we're really going to get need some get some keys like here. Someone wants to make sure the occupant of this room does not leave. The Sima. Alexander. Is okay. The door is locked with a heavy padlock. You didn't even try. Hello? Is there someone in there? Maybe. Maybe. Who, who's there? Kasima, is that you? It's Alexander. Alexander, is it really you? When Sing Sing brought me your ring, I could scarcely believe it. How did you get inside the castle? Never mind that now, Princess. It isn't important. Yes, it is. What can I do to help you? Do you want me to get you out of there? There's a padlock on the door, but I think... No, please. Don't even think about that. There are guards everywhere, and the Wazir would have you killed if he found you. You shouldn't even risk being outside my door. Please go now, Alexander. But what about you? I can't just leave you locked up like this. The only way out for me is to stop the Wazir. See what you can do out there. Oh. In the meantime, I should be safe enough. He hasn't harmed me. <laughs> yet. <laughs> yet! Besides, if I can get my hands on something with which to defend myself, I'm pretty sure I'll get a chance to use it. Uh. The Wazir feels safe around me. No one else can get that close. Yeah. You're so brave, Princess. But it's too dangerous. Have you forgotten where we met? Yes, I have. What is Abdul compared to Mordak? I'll be fine. Now go! That's true, you did have a bag of peas Alexander with hesitates. Mordak. <laughs> I'll do as you say. I will find some way to help you, Kasima. I swear it. I believe you, Alexander. Please, be careful. So wait, she did want... Didn't she want something to defend herself? We have the feminine dagger. Can we slip that under the door or something? Kasima, take this small dagger. It's not much, but perhaps it will prove useful to you. Oh, thank you, Alexander. I'm sure it will help. Oh, yes. Well, that'll be great if that's how the way he ends up dying. <laughs> okay, 152. Boom. We got the girl in the tower. Are they going to start sing the singing? What about... What about the singing? 
girl in the tower. Alexander hears the sounds of guard dogs approaching from the east. Oh shit. Kasima, is there anything else I can do for you before I go? I don't think so, Alexander. You'd better go before the guards see you, or we'll both be lost. Kasima. I don't. Okay. Oh, well, may as well take a death in this room. There's a new death, I guess. Good gravy, a strange man. <laughs> and by the princess's door yet. Jowls, come quick. I can explain. Uh, I think. I, I was looking for the kitchen, you see. Had to be done, BDR. It had to be done. Sure you were. Jowls! Don't we still have a scythe? You just a scythe. <laughs> Take him out. <laughs> Stepped out an intruder, did you? Good for you, Mike. Let's get him. I say we take him to the dungeon, then go fetch Captain Saladin. Right. We might just get an award for this. Shouldn't Kasima step in here? She could have said something. She You'll heard all that outside. Here until we find out what the wazir wants to do with you. The guard dogs leave Alexander. Yeah, this is all the same the death. Yeah. The rest of this, but it's good to see the dialogue if I get caught. Next. Just as Alexander real confound this dungeon. Okay, so let's run away to the west. Alexander hears the sounds of guard dogs approaching from the east. East. We still can't get in here. Can we talk through this door? Hello? Anybody in there? A voice from behind the door responds. Go away! I said I didn't want to be disturbed! Oh, stupid dogs. Oh, so that's the vizier. Okay. Good to know who's there. Hello? A voice. Go away! Alright, that's just, that just loops. So do we need to hide from what's-his-face? Or what? The question is where we go now. Like, can we just go back? Or, let's see. Oh shit. Nope, you can't. Alright, so that's another death. Alright, so... If we can't go back... Alexander hears the sounds of guard. Oh shit. I shouldn't have messed with the death counter. Okay. Alright, so... Let's see what happens if we go back here. Oh. Uh -oh. So this is where they took the mechanical light. Alright, new death with Captain Saladin. Look! On the stairs, it's Prince Alexander of Daventry. Guards, get that man! Alright, another death. You were told to stay away from the castle and leave the items. Why did you break into the castle? And how did you get past my guard dogs at the gate? Well, I... I was worried about Kasima and... Bah! Never mind. Your presence here has been forbidden. I'm afraid I'm going to have to have you thrown in the dungeon. I'll figure out how you got in later. Guards! You'll stay in here until we find out what the wazir wants to do with you. The guard... All right, so if we can't go that way, well, I guess we can hide behind the alcove again and wait for them to pass. Hopefully that's a thing that happens. Or we can go back into that first room. Problem is, we still don't have any keys. The guard dogs are gone. There's no need to hide behind the pillar. Oh, all right. So they're not going to patrol this hallway anymore. So let's think about this then. Um, we have the mirror. Would that help us like look into a room or something? Uh, Rose. I, by the way, I hope some of this is repeat in the long route. <clears throat> that way, it'll be like a quick ending once we do the other parts. But we'll see. We'll see. All right. Um. So we can't. We can't. We're basically stuck in this hallway or in the rooms. Um. So we must be able to find some key or Zebu. What are we gonna do with the Zebu? How do we use the Zebu? Zebu. We can go back in here. Is there like a way we can get a passage to the other room? Zebu. Can we hide in here? The wardrobe is full. No. Oh. This is locked. 
All right, is there a way we can like pick the lock? Maybe, probably not. It's weird because we have all this inventory, but most of it's gonna be the spell items for the longer route. Using that on the trunk will serve no purpose. Ah, uh, to consume all our earthly possessions in flame. Flame. Cut down the chandelier. There's no point in doing that to the chandelier. Yes, there is. All right. Um. So I think the major items we have then would be the mirror, maybe the peppermint, mirror and peppermint, uh, maybe the ribbon. The rest of the stuff, oh, uh, maybe the scythe. The rest of the stuff I think would be used for the longer one. Eventually, Lars, it's gotta be picked first. Yeah, it's not even on either, it's not even on either queue yet. That's why uh, Morgan was going to buy a vote for it. All right, so Zebu. I'm surprised we can't like talk to the vizier and say Zebu. But then again, we don't have the note to say that, which is why I used talking. Although the guards have been cleverly dismissed, Alexander still feels it prudent to be as quiet as possible. Hello? A voice. Go away! I said I... Okay, is there anything way we can put something under the door here? Let's see. Mirror. There's no point in. There's no reason to use that at the hallway doors. There's no. Re okay. Uh. Hmm. Oh, we can go. Oh, we can go back here. Shit. Kasima. I don't think so, Alexander. All right, let's go this this way. See if we can do anything. Shit. Uh -oh. No. Company. Wait, look at this. All right, so can't go in this hallway. Hi. At all. Uh, nice castle. Cheeky, isn't he? Grab him, Jowl. Cheeky. I bet this is the foreigner we were told to look out for. Well, let's lock him up and go tell Saladin. He'll tell us what kind of fish we've caught. Right, Jowls. So is there no south end to the hall? There's no south hallway, huh? All right, so there's no point going that way. There's no point going that way. Kasima says we're done. So really, we're talking about either getting into the vizier's room or giving him something, or doing something else in that other bedroom. The door is locked from the inside. There must be somebody in there. Uh, no, it was uh, it was my wife's leftover bu uh, bubble tea, video. Alexander checks behind the portrait. Yes. What is this? A nail protrudes from the wall. Can we take a nail? Alexander pulls the nail out of the wall and keeps it. Ba -da -da. 156. Do you not have bubble tea BDR? Man, I shudder to think. Well, without bubble tea. Actually, I'm gonna replace an older stick. Okay, 156 nail. All right, so what are we gonna do with this nail? The iron nail is quite sturdy and has a thin pointed tip. Maybe we can pick a lock with this. Like a padlock, perhaps. Oh shit, no! All right, so we can't go that way yet. I guess we gotta go in another room before we can... Well, we could pick the uh, trunk maybe actually with this. Deadlock. Alexander nice. Alexander wiggles the nail in the trunk's lock until he hears a click. Wiggle, Alexander wiggle. Alexander opens the trunk. All right, what do we got, what do we got? It looks like the owner of this trunk is quite the correspondent. The stack of letters appears to be ordered by date because the top one is dated only a month ago. A few worn leather books occupy the trunk. The top one is entitled Guidebook to the Land of the Green Isle. A book like that might have been a big help when Alexander first arrived. <laughs> it's by Derek. The trunk's owner obviously found it interesting too, for the guidebook is dog-eared and stained. 
The trunk contains some old leather books, a bottle of what looks like oily perfume, and a stack of correspondence. Alexander isn't interested in the oily perfume. But I'm interested. I'm interested, Bill. The books look interesting, but the castle is not a good place to relax and read. <laughs> no, not at all. The bubbles are referred to, they're basically like tapioca balls. Alexander picks up the most recent letter and examines it. The letter is addressed to Abdul Alhazred from the wizard Shadrach. It reads, Greetings to a brother of the Black Cloak. I was sorry to hear of Great Mordak's death, though he was a bit of a ninny at chess. It seems the plans for that little kingdom of yours are coming along. I must congratulate you on your handling of the king and queen. Isolating the island so that no protest could develop was another brilliant stroke. It looks like there's not much left to stand in your way. Do as I recommended with the girl, and you shall have your crown. That fiend! Well, we now, we now got the proof. We got the proof now. Alexander is carrying a letter taken from the wazir's trunk. Wazir. All right, 158. Okay. <clears throat> uh, and we got this open. So the, I guess the next thing would be to try opening the vizier's door, or maybe even Kasim as if... Hopefully the guys aren't there anymore. Eh, let's try it. Could be a fun death for you here. Alexander can't think of anything to do with that nail right now. Yes, he can. Use it on... Get this lock open. Fiddling with that door would draw attention Alexander does not need, either from the guards in the next hallway, or from the person behind the door. Oh, I wasn't worried, BDR. I was not worried. Okay, can we go back here? No. Nope. It sucks that you have to wait for, like, a... A musical interlude to f figure out whether or not you're gonna die. Is there any way to like hear or something? Alexander can barely make out part of it. All right, can we go back or not? Maybe we can. The letter. There's no point in. I get... Could you do the mirror to find out if there's someone there? Or... There's no reason to use. There's no reason to use that on the marble hall. Can we go this way? We're probably going to die this way, too. We have the trunk. So maybe if we go to the captain, though, we could just show him this letter, actually. Let's try that. Probably not, but we'll try. Uh-oh. So this is where they took the mechanical nightingale. Look! On the stairs! It's Prince Alexander of Daventry. Guards! Get that man! Can we show him the letter? I want to see if he shows the letter. Don't knock it until you try it, BDR. If you have it with real tea, it's pretty good. Pretty, pretty, you were pretty told good. To steal. Well, I. Bah! Never mind. Your present. No, you can't show him the letter. You'll stay in the garden. Bah! The sound of running footsteps echoes outside Alexander's cell. What are you doing, Dad? Uh, uh, extra. I just want to make confirm there's no way the letter helps. Right. Just as Alexander realized, confound, confound this dungeon. Okay, so now we have the letter. We got a nail and a mirror. We can't pick the lock to the vizier's door. Um, we can't go back to Kasima's room at least not yet. Ranges that is. Alexander, what's this? Here? Alexander can read. Zebu. Inside the ebony box is a piece of paper with the word Zebu printed on it. Zebu. I prefer Zebu. 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 Zebu, Zebu. Maybe let's try going over here just to elapse more. Alexander hears the guards approaching from the stairs. Okay, this sounds, uh, seems like progress. They're back. Probably means we did what we needed to do. Now they've returned. And the plot hey, look, Wolf. The king and queen's portrait fell down. Oh, shit. <laughs> uh, sorry. I, I was just looking at it. I don't know what happened. Get him, babe. Oh, goddammit. 
You'll stay in here until we the guard dogs leave. Okay, so we gotta put the painting back. Oh, I hope this isn't like Alexander. Okay, and we should have time to put it back. Alexander. Alexander can't return the portrait to the wall now that he's taken the nail. Ah. Alexander puts the <laughs> nail back into the wall. Now we can't pick the Alexander padlock. Alexander puts the heavy portrait back on the wall. Orbits? Wasn't that a gun? If you didn't have the brain of a cat wolf, you'd have known that mechanical nightingale wasn't Kazima's nightingale. I was all for staying on patrol, but you wanted to show that thing to Saladin. Well, at least the captain wasn't too mad. He's a good, honest dog, Saladin is. I err. Wish the same could be said for our... Hush! Do you want to be dazzled, you fool? Somewhere nearby, a door opens. <clears throat> Greeting, Shamir, sir. A petulant voice snaps a response. Oh, the genie. The wedding is about to begin. Make sure everything is secure. Yes, sir. Oh, really, Bill? Or Bill. The hall towards the back hallway. So I got lucky then. Alexander hears the distant sounds of chains rattling. A door opens. There's a small commotion and a woman's sharp cry. Kasima! Uh, Gradually, the sounds fade away off to the east. All is silent. You just yelled next to the guards. If it weren't for him being the wizard's page and all, I'd have something to say about that. Wonder where he's taking her. The wedding's the other way. You never know with that one. He's always showing up when he shouldn't be and going where he oughtn't. Let's go check it out. Let's. The guard dogs seem to have stopped at the back hallway. Not to mention tea in different flavors, too. Okay, so this seems good. Alright, so... Oh. All right, go over here then. Can we go back this way From now? Downstairs, Alexander hears the first wafting strains of music. Hmm, it's beautiful music. It's wedding music. Uh, no. Alexander looks cautiously around the grand hall, but there are no guard dogs to be seen. Okay, so the question is, do we bust into the wedding with the letter and say, like, stop this wedding? Or should we try some of the other doors? The wedding music. Oh, he's like unsteady on his feet there. Oh, he's going in automatically. Sort of. Prince Alexander, here. The wizard will have my head for allowing you within a mile of the royal wedding. Yeah, yo. Since you are of noble birth, I will give you five seconds to explain your presence here before killing you. I warn you, it had better be good. Okay, so here's where we can do the letter. But first, let's get a save because we want to see what the death looks like. Uh, although we haven't done Zebu yet. I wonder about this Zebu. Okay. Okay, so let's talk to him. Captain Saladin, consider. I know you cannot be blind to the Wazir's true nature. Mm, my personal feelings have nothing to do with it. I serve the crown. Did I mistype the, fi the file thing? No, I could type it right. Captain Saladin. All right, let's push him around. No excuse oh. to save your life, Prince Alexander. You were told to stay away from the castle, but you chose not to listen. I have no choice but to obey the wizard. But Saladin. But nothing. He's gonna put a sword through us. Yep. <laughs> that was the aborted scream from King's Ghost Five. Oh. Evidently, Saladin is a dog to be reckoned with. What does it fall to? Oh, you cut off. You... Yeah, there. <laughs> yeah, it, it, it was definitely the. It was definitely that cut off. It was an excerpted. <laughs>
All right, so let's do it now and give him the letter. Wait, if you love your princess, you'll hear me out. The Wazir is not what he appears to be. Kasima is in terrible danger. I have proof that this is so. For your princess's sake, you must believe me. Let me see that. Yeah, belief isn't necessary if you have proof. Saladin <laughs> reads the letter, his sword the point. still against Alexander's throat. Alexander watches the guard dog's noble face darken with rage. This is treason. I'll have his throat. But how do I know this letter is not a forgery? You could have written this yourself. Zebu? But I did not. Have you no doubts of your own about a Hazred? Don't you see? All he wants is the crown. Kasima is being coerced. We must stop the wedding. It is true. I have had my suspicions about the Wazir, especially when King Caliphim and Queen Alaria died. But I have seen Kasima with him several times. She appears to be quite happy, even enthusiastic. I don't believe she could love him if he truly were so wicked. I cannot believe for a moment that she loves that snake. A jilted lover would not believe it. But come, see for yourself. Oh, I will. Oh, how many points did we get? 161, okay. Nice. The captain of the guard leads Alexander into the throne room, where a ceremony seems to be in progress. Alexander feels his blood run cold at the sight. I, Kasima, declare Abdul al Hazred as my lawful and beloved husband and king of this realm. But, Kasima, what are you saying? There's Do you still claim that the princess is being forced? Perhaps it's you that's the danger, as the Wazir has said. Dave. Oh no 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 BDR we're doing the long we're doing the long run after this the long route. Uh 161 wedding. Do we have time to look around or is this could be time based? Alexander is standing in a magnificent throne room, finer than any he's ever seen. Unfortunately, he's not in the mood to enjoy it, because at this very moment Kasima is about to marry El Hazred. Uh, well, ordinarily I would stop it after the short run, but based on what the discussion between Matt and Silo at the start of the game, it seems like we should be doing this after the long run. Because the short run wouldn't count as the GG. Uh, I don't know. Well, it's, I'm leaning on you guys to determine because I don't know, or at least don't remember the relative endings here. All right, so what's happening? They're doing. They're getting married. What, how, what am I doing to stop this? <laughs> Kasima, stop! Oh, I should have let it go. Is Alexander yeah. here? This is an outrage! How dare you allow this traitor to get past you, Saladin? You stupid mutt! Can't you even keep the castle free of assassins during your own princess's wedding? Kill him! Kill him now! <laughs> Lord al -Hazred, with all due respect, you are not quite king yet. And this is a wedding ceremony, not an execution. What? How dare you contradict me, you flea-bitten mongrel! I gave a direct order. Obey me, or feel my wrath. Milady, I apologize for my behavior, but I am yours to command in all things. I wanted merely to hear your own wishes from your own lips. Tell me what it is that you wish me to do with this young man, and I will obey. Why, Captain, you heard my dear Abdul. If he wishes this atrocious Gee. young man's death, then I want nothing more than to see him get his wish. Obey thy liege now and always. The mint, the mint. As you wish, Princess. Okay, so I'm not going to save here because we can easily, uh, we can do the mints. 
Alexander is horrified by the expression of malignant glee distorting Cosima's beautiful face. Could his wishful heart have been wrong about her all along? It's possible. The old priest does not appear to be too upset by this interruption to his ceremony. Perhaps he also dislikes Alhazred. Perhaps. The wizard's eyes glitter with hard triumph as he prepares to watch his rival die. Saladin looks grim as he prepares to implement Princess Cosima's wishes. Saladin looks grim as he... Okay, let's talk to the priest. The priest can do <laughs> nothing to aid Alexander. See the death. <laughs> Saladin almost seems reluctant as he stabs Alexander with lethal skill, according to his princess's wishes. Okay, so now we can do the, the mint. The blade piercing Alexander's heart is barely felt after the greater pain of Cosima's condemning words. All right. Oh no, we we want to see the message. Tickets. Oh. Next. She loves me. She loves me not. Not. Hey, can you do anything else while you're here? Let's take a look around. Several guard dogs are witnessing the marriage of their princess and their liege. The funny little man from the bookshop is here. Alexander assumes he must have a position in the castle and is here serving as a witness like the guard dogs. That scheming blackguard Alhazred, wizard of this nice. realm, is in the process of marrying Cosima and securing a place as king of the land of the Green Isles. Alexander can't believe his eyes as he looks at Cosima. Could she possibly mean to wed Alhazred? Yes. Is she out of her mind? Yes. Let's see if we can, like, attack him. Alexander will have to get closer before he can give anything to the bride or groom. Oh. If you refuse to defend yourself, you must have faked the letter. Oh. Since you cannot prove your point, I shall prove mine. <laughs> oh, he even had blood on the sword. Nice. Tickets. Oh. Next. She loves me. She okay, same message. So you do have to talk, but I want to push Alexander him. decides to take matters Ooh. into his own hands and challenge the wazir. Nice. Prince Alexander here? Oh. This is a... How dare he... What? Milady, tell me what... what All right, happened? see if we can... See if we can uh, mint this guy. Perhaps the princess would care for some delicious peppermint leaves. Perhaps. Hmm. Mint? Cosima! <laughs> Princess? Kill him! As, as you wish. No, no, no. Oh! Damn it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Man, they tease me. They yes. tease me on that one. Made me think I had it. <laughs> she loves me not. Cheeky bastards. Oh. All right, so let's think about this before we get there then. Okay, mint could be part of the solution. Could we use the mirror to somehow reflect the eyes? Maybe we speak Zebu and we have to speak something. Oh man. Ribbon, eh. Spellbook isn't gonna do nothing for us. So, yeah, I'm thinking maybe speaking to the princess and then something with the mirror and the peppermint, something like that. Is there anything we could do now? Alexander doesn't have time to chat with the wedding guests. Cosima is getting married. Hold, villain. You shall not marry the princess. <laughs> Sing the girl in the tower. Prince Alexander, how... What, milady? Tell me what... Why, Captain? You heard my dear Abdul. As you... Kasima, what are you saying? Silence his tongue. His voice offends me. Yes, princess. Ah. If you refuse to defend... Oh, yes, there's another death. <laughs> Alright, so we can't talk to her. Peppermint. Tickets. Oh. Maybe yes. we can use the peppermint somehow to, um... She loves... Is there a way we could like bait the peppermint somehow? The reflection of that object looks just like the item itself. Yes, it does. Oh, we should have used Zebu. Oh, hold on a second. 
Should we have used the, the, the mirror on Zepu? Hold on a second. Uh, shit. We're, I need to save with the... Alexander, here's the... I want to see if the Zebu is a reflection thing. Alexander. Oh no, it's not. You can't. No, okay. Never mind. You can't use that. The trunk. Sunk is locked. Ah, for God's sakes. Yeah, I'm worried that we don't have what we need. Alexander. Possible we do, but. Alexander. Yeah. Only take a second to check. The trunk. All right, now. Alexander. Alexander. Okay, so take that. Apple letter greeting. It it looked that. Alexander. Hey, can we? Oh no, you can't do anything here either. The rest of the wazir's letters, probably equally as disgusting, remain in the trunk. So what do we use the mirror for? Maybe it's something with the long route. A few worn leather, a book like possible. Okay. Um. Oh, here's another idea. What if we put the mint under the? Oh, we could put the mint under the under his door, so maybe he's too drunk to attend the wedding now. Try that. There's no point in using that on the door. Damn. Ah. Okay. All right, so let's think. Maybe give him the mint right straight out. Alexander will have to get closer to the bride to give her anything. I'm certain that Kasima cannot mean what she's saying. Oh, you say. I would advise you to prove it if you can and quickly. Maybe we give it. Maybe we give the mint to him in advance. Saladin has had enough from Alexander. If the guard dog is to be further convinced, Alexander will have to prove that Kasima is not wedding the wazir of her own free will. If you refuse... Ah, alright. Okay, that's... Yeah, no, it does. Ah. Alexander decides to determine the truth of this matter with Kasima. Are we walking dead? No, we're not walking dead here, are we? Prince Alexander here? How dare you allow this... What? Milady, I apologize. Tell me what it is that... Why, Captain, you heard my... I'm gonna try... Let's try the, um... Mirror. Look into this mirror, my love. Yes. And show us your true heart. That mirror? No! No! The lovely image of Cosima suddenly bursts into smoke and is replaced by the Wazir's genie. Boom! Shamir, you fool! You fool! It's not my fault, Master! The illusion was broken! Treason! What have you done with the princess? The princess. Enraged, Saladin and the other guard dogs begin advancing on the Wazir. You worthless genie! Do something! He's getting away! Shamir, the wazir's genie, begins to throw balls of dazzling light at the guard dogs. Alright, we can take a death here, and then we'll, maybe we'll use the peppermint later. Shamir Shamazel, the wazir's genie, is throwing bright balls of light at the hapless guard dogs. The dazzling light appears to be stunning the powerful creatures. Yeah, this has to be a reference to Shlamil Shlamazel. <laughs> like Yiddish. Alexander doesn't have time to deal with the genie now. Al Hazred has left the throne room and may be on his way to the real Kasima. Well, let's just see what happens. He might get hit by the. No one is likely to listen to Alexander during all the commotion. Sure. Alexander doesn't have time to deal with Okay. The genie, finding a free moment in the battle, suddenly realizes that Alexander is still in the room and sends a dazzle spell his way. Nice. Gotcha, Prince Alexander. <laughs> Razzle dazzle. Dickens. Oh. Next. 
Genie, meanie, miny, mo. Alexander can't be slow. Sure we can. I do want to see if you can actually stop him with, because we want to save their lives and do anything with the mint. Shoop. Alexander doesn't have time. No, you can't. Oh. Sorry, guys, you're going to die. Okay. Alexander is standing in a beautiful round tower. Stairs lead upward, spiraling towards the top of the tower and Al Hazred. Alexander searches for a A large wooden door leads back into the throne room. A staircase spirals up to the next floor of the tower. Alexander is. Alexander. Okay, let's go after him. Maybe you were stunned and that gave him enough time to Alexander kill him. Alexander is standing in. Yeah, same description. Man, we didn't get to use the peppermint? Alexander, be careful, Al Hazard has a sword! Shut up, witch! Shamir Shamazel! Get in here! Get in here! Yeah, save quickly. Confrontation. Uh, Gum the Warlock, thanks very much for the follow. Welcome to the adventure quest, Gum. Here I am, master. It's about time, you bumbling fool. How could you let him follow me? Well, there were the guard dogs, master. And then, never mind. Just kill him. Kill him now. Oh, there's a sword right here. Uh, as you wish, master. Oh, Gum, oh, the Warlock, sir. All right, just take the death. It seems that Alexander is to face his destiny for good or ill in this round room at the top of the castle's grand tower. Al Hazred's genie Shamir Shamazel looks like he's winding up for a huge dazzle spell, and he's aiming it at Alexander. A very large ornate ceremonial sword has been mounted on the wall. So this is where Al Hazred stashed the real Kasima during the wedding ceremony. Oh. She struggles against her bonds, but thankfully doesn't seem to be harmed. Send a ball of light to Frazzle! Oh! The Dazzle Ball hits Alexander! <laughs> yeah, yeah, we can see that. <laughs> Oh, it was a great thing. Oh, could be it's probably the genie mini mini mini. Next Genie Mini yep. Okay, so let's take this Here I am. It's a bug well, never mind. So can you do anything with the um Look what I have here, my friend. Peppermint. Nice fresh peppermint. Oh Stupid peppermint! Don't you dare even think about it! Think about it, think about it. Mm, mint. I don't think I beat this game. Oh no! Not now! <laughs> I don't remember Do this something. at all. Shamir Shabazzle! Kill him! Send a small... I mean a ball of... <laughs> Light to frazzle! Dazzle Ball goes wild. Hit the Vizier! Oh. Aw. It's from here. Oh. You killed my genie! You idiot! Don't you know how valuable he was? I You're don't. Fool. I'll kill you myself for that outrage. So shall it be, El Hazred. I'm ready. Oh, I'm very proud. Very proud. All right, 165. Oh, look at that. We get to replace the peppermint safe with the other one. At our IP Shamir. All right, so let's take the death here with uh, El Hazred. El Hazred handles his sword deftly. He looks quite enraged and more than ready to avenge himself on the interloping prince who has ruined his dreams of glory. There's a door on the west side of the round tower. Long peaked windows overlook the aisle and the sea below. 
Unfortunately, Alexander's in no position to appreciate the view. Talk to him. No, no. Alexander! No! <laughs> Alright, got that done. So the question is with the... Touché. Alexander should have been on guard. And guard. We take this. Inspiration. Alexander fixes upon the only weapon in sight. <laughs> oh, is it? It's it's great that we have a weapon in sight. Zounds! <laughs> this sword must weigh a ton. It's his third time saying zounds. <laughs> Good. Then you shall only fail sooner, my prince. Talk to him first. Calling to the four winds will not help Alexander in his final battle. All right, let, let's try to battle him. So, the mouse would bite? This mouse shall bite, as you shall soon see. Or should I say, soon feel? Ha! You can barely lift that sword, my prince. Better to lay it down now. I promise to dispatch you with little pain. A tempting offer. But I think I'll wait and see you what this sword can do. Indeed. Suit yourself. I definitely did not beat this. I remember getting to the castle, but I don't think I got past those rooms, the hallways. I don't remember this at all. Oh, we got a couple of nice punches in. Kasima! Stab him in the back! Alexander's arms start to tremble under the effort of wielding the huge sword. His muscles are nearing exhaustion. Ha! And so it ends! For you! Not if I can help it, you murderer! Kasima thrusts the small dagger into Al Hazred's shoulder with all her might. Shoulder, take out his back. <laughs> you, you dare raise a finger to me? You will regret that, princess. Should have said princess. Oh, take it. Wait. All right, this could be another death, though. Hold on. We, we can leave no death unturned. So let's just do nothing and let him take us out. But I forget. I stalk a kitten and turn my back to a lion. It wouldn't do to let you gather your strength again, my prince. No, it would not do at all. Husred finishes off Alexander with one swipe of his sword. I'm actually worried that that safe slot could be done. Forgive me. Kasima. <laughs> that was a good fall, Alexander. actually. That was a good fall down. Get kids. Oh. Next. Touche. Alexander should have been on guard. Oh, goodness. He's dead. Very dead. Oh yeah, see it's a dead safe slot. Okay, shit. Alright. I guess you save you don't have enough time. All right, we might need a sound effect of him going zounds. His voice cracks. Then you shall only take out. Alexander would gladly give Kasima all he owned, <laughs> but he'll have to get past El Hazred first. You can't take out. Kasima. Alexander sees no use for that item there. Okay. So this. Jiminy Christmas! Man, I would have loved to have seen this being filmed in the Sierra Studio. Because they did the motion capture. Alexander's arms start to tremble. 
And so it ends. Not if I can help it, you murderer. Kasima thrusts the small dagger into Alhazred's shoulder with all her might. Ah! You! You dare raise a finger to me! You will regret that, princess! Alexander sees no use for that item there. Really? Okay. No use for that item Are you there. All right? I'm fine, Alexander. I was just so afraid for you. There's no need to fear anymore, Princess. Yes, I know. How can I ever repay you for myself, for my kingdom? It was not in me to let harm come to you. Can you find it in you, Princess, to give me more than your gratitude? Give me Alexander, your hand in marriage. What are you saying? <laughs> I love you, Kasima. Would you ever consider... Do you think you could... marry me? Could you ever have doubted it, my prince? I could have. I chose not to. Princess Kasima, are you well? I'm quite well, thank you. Please take Abdul and put him in the dungeon. See to it that he gets a doctor. What, we didn't kill him? That should have been yes, a kill- Majesty. That should have been a fatal blow. What, he can walk under his own power? What the fuck? And the sword's still lying there. What are you guys doing? What happened? <laughs> what, did we hit him with the blunt end of the handle? Oh my god, why? <laughs> Why? One week later... Kasima and Alexander ask Captain Saladin to perform their wedding ceremony. Saladin is honored to do so. On this historical day of great joy in the land of the Green Isles, we witness the union of Kasima, beloved princess of this realm, and Alexander, prince of Daventry. Okay, I kind of remember this. I must have taken the you, long route. Prince Alexander of Daventry, take Princess Cosima to be your wife, to love and to cherish for as long hmm. as you both shall live. I do. And do you, Princess Cosima of the land of the Green Isles, take Prince Alexander to be your husband, to love and to cherish for as long as you both shall live? I do. Do you have a ring? I do not. I have Alexander's royal insignia ring. Very good. Please place the ring on Cosima's finger. What? No, that's our ring. <laughs> Who gives this bride to be wed? That would be me! In the name of King Caliphim, beloved friend, I give his daughter Cosima in wedlock. Thank you, Jalo. Jalo. Since the groom has no family present, I will speak on his behalf. Uh oh. Yeah, why Alexander, does our family get here? Your union with this woman is sanctioned and recognized in the eyes of the community. Thank you, Saladin. Then, Alexander and Kasima, I now pronounce you man and wife. You may kiss the bride. Hooray! Hip hip, huzzah! Huzzah! Excuse my interrupting your joy, but I have an important question for the new bride and groom. The two guards at the back of the room. <laughs> what is it, Saladin? <laughs> Alexander, Alhazred hurt this little kingdom nearly to the point of destroying all that we stand for. But you are true and good and have proven yourself to all the people. Thank you, Captain. King Caliphim and Queen Alaria are gone and can never be restored. Alhazred has, thankfully, been banished. But we are leaving... Banished? 
I believe you too can heal this small kingdom from all the damage that Al Hazred has inflicted. He's going to hook up with Shadrach. He's going to be back. Two, Alexander and Kasima, consider becoming the ruling king and queen. Why, I am honored. What do you think, Kasima? I love my homeland, Alexander. I would be happy to stay and serve it all my days. Rule over it. I wish my father were here so that I could ask his advice. I will miss him, and my mother and sister, and Daventry. You're never going to go back to this. I love you, Cassina, and I do feel at home here. No, you don't. Somehow, this land and I seem to suit each other. I don't know what kind of king I'll make, but I accept. <laughs> Why the hell not? Alexander, I'm so happy. If only my parents could have been alive to see this day, my joy would be complete. I'm sorry I could not spare you that grief, beloved. King Alexander, there is a long road ahead. The ferry must be repaired before we can reunite the islands. Unfortunately, the islands are still feuding. It will take some time and great diplomacy to convince them to reunite and stop fighting each other. Yes, Alexander. We will have to try to discover how Al Hazred managed to make them hate each other so that we can undo what he has done. Now let us celebrate our good fortune. The evil that has plagued this land is done, and a new reign begins. Long live King Alexander and Queen Cassima. Long live King Alexander! Long live Queen Cassima! Long live the land of the Green Isles! Hooray! 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 Thank you for playing. Are they going to say the name of the game? No, they're not. What was our final score? And the music cuts out just like that? All right. Well, after 10 hours and 22 minutes and 4 seconds, King's Quest 6, air today, gone tomorrow, is gone. At least the short route. We knocked out Al Hazred, but banished him. But we still took over the Kingdom of the Green Isles. We rescued Princess Kasima. And we'll have the long route coming up. Yahoo! We may not deserve the girl in the tower, but boy, did we get her. Why is there... Shouldn't they be playing the girl in the tower song now? Why aren't they playing the girl in the tower song? Girl in the tower. Do I need to, do I need to play this for? I need to give some music here to the end. Well, it wasn't a bad ending. We we still married her. I'm surprised. Is it a is it a bug? Shouldn't there be music here? I'm playing this on you, the YouTube version of the song. All right, it's it's too. Um, <clears throat> How many endings are there? Yeah, I might have been doing my audio settings. Five? Wow. Is this the most common ending? Or is that even measurable? It's, it's too late to do the long route, but um, on Thursday, we will restore from the Druid Village, and we're going to do the long route. Oh, multiple variations on the same ending. Okay, so all of them, you still marry her then, right? You still marry Kasim and everyone. Oh, depending on what you do. It's weird because I don't remember that sword fight, but I kind of maybe the wedding seemed vaguely familiar. I wonder which path I did. Huh. 
Okay, two roots in the slightly different animals. Okay, so this is the worst of the this is the worst of the endings, relatively speaking. All right, we've received 172 out of 231 points. You completed approximately 74% of the main path puzzles. We hope you'll play again. 174, you said? Uh, so I guess that's 8 plus the 10 for beating the game. Oh. Oh, actually, eh, I gave you a little too many, but that's okay. Yeah. All right. This will be good, though. I'm. I'm. I look forward to the long path on uh, Thursday. And that way we can do the. Um, we'll do the raffle in the showdown then as well. Hmm. I'm trying to think if the. Um, maybe the approach to the castle is different, but maybe the castle portion is the same. I don't know. Well, don't tell me. That'll spoil it, I guess. Yeah, we're going to do the long path on Thursday night. So no stream tomorrow, but we'll do the long path Thursday. Oh, Scum doesn't play the song. All right, well, we were able to play it anyway, which is good. Thank goodness I had it up on YouTube already. <laughs> no doubt. All right, cool. So I guess though, we'll because we reached a good ending though, we're gonna we're gonna keep the timer here. The timer will remain stuck at 10:22, so we won't continue to run the ta uh, the timer, but we will just do a stream. Hopefully, we can do it in one stream. I don't know, but hopefully, we can do the rest. I mean, it depends how much longer it is, I suppose. But hopefully, we can get the game the, the long path done on Thursday, and then be in position to uh, start the next game on like Saturday. I hope, but we'll see. I don't know. Yeah, I have the tab at the ready because that's it's uh, what I listen to each and every day. <laughs> no, we're not running the timer. will be stop there because we've done some other games before too, where we get one ending, but then we play for the others. Usually, it's only like the last few minutes. You know, like Angel Devoid, we did that. Remember? But uh, this obviously is going to be a lot longer portion, but still, you know, we hit we hit the end, so um, we won't. So actually, I guess we could give out we could give out Cedric's. You know what? Why don't we do? Uh, well, still the kind of the end of the game. So we will go to the Hall of Adventure. We can do that, and we'll add game number one hundred and eighty nine, King's Quest six, and put it up on the shelf. <laughs> 